John McGivern mm. in studio. You had a chance to get together with all your brothers and sisters, which is unusual, right? I mean, it's so great. My um, my brothers are in town, so I have a brother Jim who lives in Sarasota, and a brother Timmy who lives in Turpin Springs, Florida. And my brother Timmy is here. Um, for his 50th high school reunion, Dominican high school class of 1971. And uh, Timmy is so funny because what he's done since he came here is he's he's been going back and forth to the border of Illinois to play baseball. Timmy plays like a hardball league, hardball, fast pitch baseball. He's he doesn't That's awesome like, though. So like in high school, mm-hmm. he was a he was. Like an great incredible athlete. athlete. Yeah. In fact, I went to St. Lawrence Seminary. I was the, you know, I talked about, I was a cheerleader for St. Lawrence Seminary. Well, sure like, you were. So I was, my athleticism was in a whole different, you know. Yeah. yeah. We all have our different strengths, John. We do. So I remember clearly that there was an invitational um, baseball so the, the, the team from St. Lawrence Seminary came down to play in this invitational at Dominican. Well, my brother was a pitcher, was a catcher okay. for Dominican High School, and he was a really good hitter. And they got to the, 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 the St. Lawrence Seminary team, got to Dominican High School. They went through the lobby, and there was a sign that said, McGivern the Magnificent. And they were like, <laughs> <"You're getting there." laughs> can't be related to the one we know, <laughs> the cheerleader. And it was like, no, that's my brother. That's my brother, Tim. He's big, you know, uh-huh. and it, it's so funny. So, and to this day, he's still playing. And he's are you 67. still cheer? Are you still cheerleading? You know, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Give me a V at an I. Try a C T O R Y. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory, victory. That's our cry. But Timmy is still, he's still catching. He's 68 and he can squat. Like, I don't get it. I don't know how somebody. He's got his original knees. <laughs> he does. He has See? his original knees. Okay. Yeah. So he's. Knock he, on he, with he's, whatever this is. He's playing. So he's, I'm, I'm, you know, but I'm, I'm excited the, for him. I thought the funniest thing you said earlier was about how uh, in your family, four <laughs> boys, two girls, but when you get together with your brothers, you all fall in the same line. Like you. You go back to the roles you you lived as kids. You so do. Mm-hmm. It's so funny, you know, and it's so you know, and but, but you can acknowledge it now and make, but it's still like there's you know there's the hero, there's the scapegoat, there's the. I mean, you really do have roles in a family. And, you do, and, and and you know when when you're old enough to realize what you were, you just you still play it. Brian Regan is also from a large family. Yeah, here's Brian. Right Regan. in the park, you saw another family. They had like a five year old boy holding a helium balloon. And he accidentally let go of his balloon. The boy started crying. And his parents were like, why are you crying? It's a balloon. We'll get you another one. I'm like, japers, grapers, folks. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think adults try hard enough, you know, to understand what kids are going through. You know, if you wanted to relate to what it's going through, imagine if you took your wallet out and it just started floating away. <laughs> why are you acting like that? It's a wallet. We'll get you another one. I want that one! <laughs> That's what your boy's going through. We have a little boy. Uh, we had a monitor in his room the other night, and uh, I don't really push what I do on my kids, and I figure they'll find it out when they want to find out, you know? And I was sitting with my wife watching TV, and it was at night. We thought he was sleeping, and all of a sudden I heard through the monitor, Daddy... I have a joke for your career. (laughs) I got like goosebumps, man. I'm like, wow. So I got to go up there, man. I ran upstairs. This is true. And I sit on the bed. I'm like, man, wow. You got a joke for my my act, buddy? And he goes, yeah. I I just thought of it. I was like, whoa. I I wanted to cry. I was like so touched, you know. I was like, really? Wow. What's the joke, buddy? And he goes, how come dinosaurs... Don't talk. I don't know. How come dinosaurs don't talk? Because they're all dead. 